This video I will dedicate to a Western society, basically how they get people killed. Uh, it's this issue that called killing people through the corruption, basically butchering people through the corruption, destroying the mentality, destroying their life uh, completely eating person, completely destroying person without leaving individual absolutely nothing to defend himself with, uh, without absolutely any ability to defend himself, herself from, well, corruption. Uh, corruption is more than just, you know, going in a company and uh, co corrupt the uh, people so they work for you instead uh, or, you know, whatever that you are up to if you want to realize your corruption case. Uh, actually, The first cases of corruption go into a military hired, killed for hire um, people that, you know, it's just people with the money, people that due to their political landscape or whatever circumstances might be, they hired. Uh, hide some thugs, terrorize village, uh, build yourself a fort, hire some more people, steal more money from the village people, ransack uh, a city, got yourself some more money, kill some more people, got yourself another city, basically hire more people, kill for hire. And so I suppose that England was made out of this. And I'm not sure about other countries, but probably some other country too. It goes way back in time. Um, the principles of killing people are still the same in a global economy, however, they do basic principles. They do apply to a global society. And in this society, we always have different people. We have a middle class, we have the upper class, and we have the elite. And then in countries where they still are using royals, to do just as I stated, uh, there is also royals that sit at the top and add. I'm skeptical about the rule, but they add. They add to corruption, and they're all about corruption. Um, not as much as. Royals, I will touch the corrupt American society. And I will also touch some royal issues in this video. Uh, but I want to dedicate one specifically to Paris Hilton. Uh, I want to dedicate one to people that get killed, like myself, by uh, kill for hire by people that volunteer to kill person uh, literally, obviously for status, obviously for money, and obviously also for their political views. Uh, and I think for this issue, a perfect candidate would be, let's say, Paris Hilton. Uh, a principle to whom completely identical issues have applied uh, if 
I consider Prince Harry, Prince William. It's also the generation that goes into that generation, age-wise. Money, class, if you like, class, yeah, class. You're gonna, you're gonna hear about what I think about this class. This is no class, this is a diarrhea of the world. Whatever remains of the worst in this world is what this is. And so, I touch the issue of the politics too, not only about money. But I think that everybody involved in MKUltra did have his political views because he was not allowed to participate or she was not allowed to participate, whoever was involved in it, without exposing his or her political views. Some people did whatever it took to hide their political views. But the thing is that in my case, I learned when it all started with beatings in Russia, in Belgrade, abuse, torture. Involving females from all walks of life, backgrounds, racial, ethnic backgrounds. Disallowing me already since the early childhood to also have my little girlfriend. Um, I am not insane, and I am not so much or unique when it comes to the opposite sex. Um, In Russia, in Moscow, they used there was nothing that was not about the plot, about the setups. Everything was a setup, everything was a plot. But all right, for this case, because my head is like at least thousand books I have stored inside in respect to MK Ultra. Each book would be at least thousand pages, not even 500. For this setup in Russia, when I was just maybe two years old in Russia, two years old, not more than two years old, um, they would present to the two year old male kids uh, you know, this is going to be your comrades, and so on. Uh, little girls, uh, you know, do you like this girl? Do you like that girl? And so on. And as you grow up in, this, in those MK Ultra circles, they would have all kinds of sexy females. Um, first, when you're two years old, you get to see the females girls, I should say, who are like six, seven years old, older, that would already have a little, you know, facial little characteristics and this and that, and would be next to older girls you're talking about. So I'm talking about now, like, the way MKUltra is done. And so those that do MKUltra, those that know MKUltra, psychologists, psychiatrists, people that work in uh, in the field of psychiatry, basically, this is, you know, I wouldn't be talking to you the stuff like this if, again, I'm giving you this stuff firsthand of what I tasted on my own skin. Uh, so they involve foremost for two, three, four, five, six year old boys. Uh, they involve girls that were like 11, 12. 13, even 14, that would interact because they were like more developed, more, you know, more characteristic female features. And next to it, they would also introduce like same age girls in it. Uh, and they would play with this and see what kind of feedback they can get from uh, you know, from males, 
basically. So I know I'm not so much different. I've just the only thing that makes me exceptional is that I told you about what a nine months old male baby thought about actually nine months, a year and a half for sure, even nine months, 10 months, 11, 12, uh, about the females in Germany. And I told you about how uh, a Czech doctor here in Slovenia is a Czech, a Slovenian, Croatian doctor, linguist, translator, Dr. Pokorny, uh, who would also take me to Germany and what kind of impression I made on one because of the abuse they performed on me in Russia, because of this play with, the, with girls, uh, and completely different approach toward me in Germany that, that they had this also females, uh, on him, when I told him maybe I was, I don't know, my God, I was maybe two and a half years old, three years old, I don't know. I told him I'm never gonna marry uh, the girls from Slovenia or from anywhere in Yugoslavia or Russian on it, one of them. And uh, when I told him this, because I, I, re I noticed him that he was nervous um, watching me, the stuff, what, how I interact with them and how they interacted with me. He became like envious about the whole thing. Uh, and once I told him this, uh, he, he lost it. He was like, you're never going to go to Germany again. We're never going to take you to Germany again. You're done with it. You're this, you're that. What have you done this? And so on. And then he went on and he insisted that he's going to get me a Czech girl. Uh, and then he got himself a Czech lady, you know. And then he got himself a Czech wife. And it was good. It was not bad and so on. But, okay, let's go back and let's talk about basically you know, something that I can make, that other people can dream of. Nobody did this stuff. I can do it. I can do it because I did, I was subjected for so long. So like, I go really back in time, the beginning of all this. Uh, the mistreatment, the way you treat this child, the way he will remember your facial features, boy. Uh, not only of the people that torture one, but he will look around and he will memorize the faces of the same age and older and whatever is around him and will computerize these little faces and grown-up faces and whatever is out there and the people and the language and the country and whatever he is. And uh, boy, you're gonna get uh, a feedback uh, obviously based on which you demanded one to perform. This was not something that I would be uh, some kind of evil baby as they demanded from me to see myself in. Uh, even a Chucky, for which I was suggested this depicting me. This is what this was about. Um, this is just what they wanted so they can get their political agenda going and they start with the kids that are really in a crib from a little ones is when they start you know uh and what's interesting about this stuff is that i call this a german sickness uh except that it's not only german sickness uh but it's germans and Britons that and Scandinavians that really, really, really knew how to efficiently use, misuse this issue for their political agenda, for their interests. They really knew how to play along. And the girls that I would, uh, contrary to Russia, then meet in Britain and in the United States as a baby, basically. Uh, you're talking about like Samantha Fox, you're talking about Kylie Minogue, you're talking about the girls that had like like models, you know, like top, like you, they would like rank like on a top, top, top. And that's basically what they would use to make the point. 
right? Once they get you, once they sense that you see themselves in their females, in their women, uh, that's basically their, it, everything is ready then for the next stage of the uh, genocide. Uh, everything, however, is because they like you, because they side with you, with a lot of uh, Schroeder, uh, all kinds of males, call uh, politicians also, Italian and American, uh, you know, not only royals playing with your sanity, you delivered from a place where you're severely abused, beaten up, uh, with nothing that goes on other than violence into a place where you have these beautiful girls and everything looks normal. And uh, you even have this very nice, kind, older man also that on the occasion they turn into something else, more like beasts. But they're soliciting you whether you basically want to adopt them. Because you are so fucking special, because they make you so special, they make you feel like you're a fucking royal king of the world, basically. And it's like, play with the sanity suggestion between, between the two, between them, if, you know, if I could adopt this boy and so on. You know, and then asking you whether you would like to be adopted and stuff. It's a little fucking with your sanity that that will take you over the edge. It's it's um, it's what uh, people do not survive. People get killed in this kind of circumstances all the fucking time. I think that explains the best what this is. Let's not dream about. It's too much, it's, I don't know what. If people get killed all the time, they kill a lot of people like this. Uh, so you get into the category, uh, you've been labeled, you've been taught on how to be even labeled as a traitor. Um, I did talk about that kind of stuff already. So uh, you have nothing look, to look forward to at home or, you know, anywhere in, in, in the school when they, when they give the lesson about the, the Slavs, Slavic people and this and that, you got nothing to look forward to. You're fucking ousted and you're in a hostile world all by yourself and fuck you, basically. At mercy, facing violence every day, day by day, we had a good uncles from abroad, basically. Um, you don't actually, at the beginning, it has to come to you that you want to know where on this picture do you fit at all, because it's a, such a fucking mess, the whole thing. But this I go like really, really early age, you know, and so as the years go by, even these girls, 11, 12, 13, 14, you know, sometimes at the age, um, like, yeah, uh, at the age six, yes, at the age six, uh, six, seven, you already start to see girls, women, basically, 19, 20, sexy as hell, 25, 30. Uh, with open, half open, uh, you know, uh, chest uh, next to uh, you know, clean uh, with the ties, man, and, you know, kind. Uh, uh, occasionally, you get to see that, and we already are making a transfer to completely, completely different picture, different world. But this is how it goes, and I'm gonna say this is another proof about MPO. If you don't do the stuff like this, and very few people, 
few people do it, you wouldn't fucking know anything about it. Okay? I doubt there is people that survive this shit. I'm gonna put it this way. I did. That's almost much more than a miracle. Okay, so this German disease is I found once they get you in their drawer, they don't worry about you no more. They, you're just being now used to suck and suck and suck as it suck from your pain, from your suffering, basically. And I was bound to stay unmarried throughout my entire life because Females were crazy about me, but there would be always something that it would just, it would just cut. I would meet them frequently during MK Ultra. They would, the females in real life that I would meet, and some even had, you know, sexual relationship. I've, before I would, I met them in MKUltra, I would met them again in MKUltra when they would bye-bye. They find a way, basically, to... Because this is the way, this is this German sickness, it's how basically it operates. And so... Hmm. The German sickness has a characteristic of being unemployed, without basically purpose to be alive. Wondering about yourself and just being used for whatever they need you, whatever it is that they need you. They always have something better for you than what you want. Angela Merkel knows about that stuff. Because that's always what she uses as a phrase, basically it became a phrase. Prince Andrew, Angela Merkel, that's basically exactly how it, is, how it went. Now, almost for 52 years, for 52 years. It's got nothing to do with uh, what you think, whatever is written inside of the books about the kings and queens and what you are brainwashed uh, inside of the schools when you get your material about just king. You know? Wise old king, just old king, everything about justice, you know, uh, kind, you know, uh, just, you know, strong, yeah. protect, uh, concord, and so on, etc. It's like, uh, a lot of adults I met including my father, who is at the home for elderly people. Um, never managed to grow up beyond age nine. Eight, nine, ten. No, eight, nine is enough. Never, ever managed to grow over. It's actually a lot of people like this without even knowing this. It's a sickness. Um, because MKUltra is all based on logic. You're going to see the people on YouTube. You're going to see people in schools. Yeah, wherever they come in contact with MKUltra, uh, it's, it's a terrible, terrible sickness. You're going to see people... Uh, let's say this face is a little bit. All right? Let's see this faces just a little bit here. Um, look at this. Look at it. Look what this looks like. You would say, what, what would you say? Would you say beautiful? Would you say it's beautiful? Would you say it's kind? It's nice? It's many different faces that you see like this. I'm just using this as, a, as an example. Look at it. Do you see this? Just look at the facial features. Just look at it. 
I'm going to use Hilton family for example. Just look at it. You can see from the pictures already, when you look at it, the pictures on the internet, that the people that are involved in MK Ultra, um, in many cases, are driven nuts, insane. Like we go see Charles Manson, let's say, how he looks like. On other occasions, you're gonna see them posing for you like victoriously, or um, they all want to look victorious. The bigger the loser, I think, the more the victorious. The bigger the crook, the more they want to look victorious for you to compare yourself, basically see yourself angry based on the stuff they did to you and so on, and even evil, crazy. Quickly, you can see based on the pictures and the pictures and the profiles that you see on the internet, who the person is. You just look through and you know exactly who you are dealing with. Just the 10 seconds of the person in front of you is enough to understand where the person is coming from, from the facial features, from behavior, from from the conduct, the way it, 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 the way it's the conduct the person has. Logic. What is logic, folks? What do you, when I say logic, what do you, what do you, what do you see as a logic? What do you think about when I say to you logic? Logic is. the ability to use brain that guide you toward educated answer that is based on uh, rather than on guessing it's based on that much the stronger logic that much the better possibly even proof uh, educated answer you know uh, this is what logic is to me uh, the thing is that the logic is the main instrument uh, yeah, I have to be very careful when I give you this definition because this is the definition of what MK Ultra is based on or I should say corruption is based upon um, the logic is good the logic is you know when you're young with your kid you're gonna hear a lot about the logic especially if you're involved in mk ultra case he doesn't have a logic she's not thinking logical the teacher really is cynical about logic logic this logic that and uh the it's, it's been misused for hum, to humiliate people, to do all kinds of harm to people. Uh, and uh, it's misused to shame, blame even, falsely blame and shame people with lesser education into obedience, into compliance of something in fact, that does not have anything to do with the logic. That's basically to crossing into the area of crime, entering the, the prohibited zone, the zone where is practically reserved for the criminals, for the crooks, uh, clearly prohibited by laws, by even international treaties, organizations such as United Nations, etc. Uh, and logic becomes a powerful instrument when you pose with doctoral degree or something next to somebody that has just i don't know grammar school or high school and uh you know you're more educated you're more respected right that's where we go the area of instagram and facebook followers and, and that kind of stuff and so you know, how can I, poor guy from whatever, 
see this man in front of me holding somebody for the throat uh, and decline his invitation uh, to become a bit wealthier or profit from something for a little favor that I would perform uh, based on, uh, you know, whatever the government is going to provide me to justify my crime against him. And so logic is being greatly, greatly misused for uh, convincing people that is worth to, uh, you know, to, to cause somebody harm beyond repairs, basically to kill somebody, to, to uh, participate in organized killing, in a cult, basically, in a, in a sect, in a cult, in a movement that thus uh, is part of, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's part of elite. Yeah, it goes all the way to the, to the people that are super billionaires and stuff. Uh, so how the hell not? You know, if, you, if you're a certain portion of society and if you have access actually all the way up, much better access than the rest of the, maybe 99% of the population does, right straight to the top, your government officials and beyond in other countries, businesses, opportunities and such and stuff. Um, a crookery really is something that voids the logic. And I think this crookery is, goes hand in hand with the logic uh, it just substitutes absolutely everything in person, including the sense, the reasoning for laws, for order, uh, even more so because it's a police-supported operation. It's a law enforcement that does this stuff. Therefore, you must not be afraid of anything, right? If police is doing this, you know, that's one of the smaller damage to you, you got nothing to worry about that. If the person gets killed, and it's just a question when he will get, uh, well, he will die, or he will... Basically, whatever, you don't actually have nothing to worry about. And in return, you get to sip on, on the top of the YouTube channels worldwide, where you can collect the revenue with your videos, even if they're complete shit, basically. Uh, that's so that's basically goes all hand in hand with this um, ability to through the internet to manipulate through this artificial intelligence and results are given completely uneducated um, totally manipulated uh, results basically just sorting in a certain category of videos that you're going to get, you're going to enter certain words rather than opening net, you know, net, neutro, neutral, neutrality, internet, there is no such a thing. It's bullshit. It's a, it's a channel, it's a matrix of net, basically. It's a guided channel, and, you know, whoever owns it is the one that uh, it belongs to, yeah, so that's why they have all these meetings and stuff. Seeing these people, the way they behave, you know, all this, it's like listening with the way they talk, watching their, these videos, um, it's got very little with the logic um, in many, many cases. It's just that you participate in something and they throw you right at the top of the results that do very little for you other than for the person to collect, you know, the revenue, basically, because, you know, it's needed for whatever. Um, even the, but during the MKUltra, everything is based on the logic. 
everything is based on the logic they, they always they always pull you with the logic and the logic is supported by in my case being this allowed to sleep for days even if we travel to the other side to the united states from russia or australia or whatever it was long flights whatever we were up to uh wherever they were up to to, to get me killed they would not allow to sleep basically the only thing that would happen is the sleep was replaced with uh forced uh, you know forcefully keep you awake uh and with immediately prepared you know scenarios quest stupid questioning that people would even learn what kind of questions to ask what to, what to do to keep one with open eyes so that he would not get rest so the russians were vicious eager to get me killed uh and so that's what this logic if you like the logic and the logic all when it comes to the victims involved in mk it all involves about it's all about the terror death threats uh you got you got the idea it always starts like this and it always starts, and, and next to the death threats and next to the terror it's all for, it's also ice cream and you're on the beach posing next to the people enough so they get the picture for themselves a picture and they'll tell that you are there you eat the food with them or whatever it be. and then again you disappear you know every here you disappear and then you meet them again on the beach after you were tortured for a few hours maybe even days and so it went with this british royals with this elites if you like yeah they all, and always this elites they have a criminal rings or the leaders of certain issues uh that was selected as based on uh, your observation if you physically have affiliate yourself with a person whatever that be might be uh on a physical looks uh then they would use uh, it would be a psychiatrist a psychologist that would say yeah you can give me more uh, plus about mk ultra knowledge it would be always the that person would become a patron you know the psychiatrist would say, would say yeah he's going to lead this group and around this person which is a person that is selected out of maybe 100 people that get involved in certain city and this is the way it is um it's this you know from out of 100 people that get involved in it it's you that you flirted with that lady or male or whatever it might be the most and he gets for whatever reason and he collects more votes you know they go they do two three rounds and if he collects votes then he will be like a ring around whom the crime will be spinning and so then you're told if you will behave good yes if you will behave good we will meet again uh and what it means to behave good is that you get to see the people they present you the people that were involved in incredible torture killing uh and if you don't act aggressive to them toward them uh, then you have this a leader of the certain group of the certain circle uh that will approach to you that's how it works and if you will not you will never make it through these are then you get to hear this from british royals they tell you this kind of stuff you know prince charles actually king charles prince andrew uh, princess and uh you know all these people they give you they give you in and out and that that um that basically you need to be silent uh and just identify people 
say nothing and uh, basically you have to be also global uh, therefore you must completely detached go away from any kind of politics because the politics are bad bad for ukraine bad for uh you know uh, bad for you basically because if you're going to see yourself in the politics you're never going to make it through because it's uh um <coughs> Putin, Vucic, uh, all these dictators involved in it, Kuchan and so on, all these dictators from Slovenia, from, from everywhere involved in it, that threaten that there will be nothing and it will be nothing. And then you have also people at the United Nations that, that you know, do their stuff. Uh, and this is just a circle of people, it's the same fucking circle of people that even meets to negotiate the entire war, like the one in Ukraine that you watch, and that's half of half 500,000 people already dead. So you must understand that these are really, really giant issues that are involved in it. All right, I'm not here to talk to you about this issue so much. I want to give you an idea about what the difference is between why I haven't seen myself more or less, not because, because I shaped the world is one thing. None of these people ever did, people like, let's say, Paris Hilton or Prince Harry or Prince William. But I did, and I was overdue to have this case finished before I reached age 14. At 12, this case should have definitely be already finished with my being very well situated based on what, based on my accomplishments in life. It didn't end even when Slovenia became independent with everything. And I was pushed into a bracket of less than uh, animal, basically, less than what animal is worth. Uh, I told you about 52 years with people like from British Royals, it was like five different generations that were involved in this genocide. Just shifting from one generation to another and at one point basically meeting all of them. From Prince George uh, to Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth and uh, their sons and daughter and their sons and daughter basically grandsons i should say uh, and then grand grandsons so yeah, that's georgie so you can understand and an entire family everything all the cousins and all the you know all the lords and uh, um, sir and uh, You name it. There is a big difference, big, huge, giant difference between myself and these people. And this is why I'm doing this video, in a way, why I'm doing this video. I'm doing this video because some of it I've stated here, this location here, you know, about a Paris Hilton. Um, she was involved in Mount Everest of crime against me. This is not crime. This is a domestic terrorism, a serious security matters that were involved in it. You cannot go and torture somebody uh, just so that you can, you know, develop your logic to degree I did not even, I did not even click that stuff. Clearly, I did not click that stuff.
so that it helps you so that it helps you to uh, publish the books, play in the videos, in the movies, and so on. I would say that she met Donald Trump. I would say it probably was contrary, probably vice versa. But oh, so it doesn't matter. These are both people from New York. Um, I don't see how these people would not know each other. Um, she. Um, She took all the advantage of uh, what one can entitle itself in respect to killing somebody through MK Ultra. That's myself in this case. She absolutely used absolutely everything possible that was in this world that one can do to somebody to, uh, including what she claimed was dating me during MK Ultra. The, what one can do to somebody to break one psychologically, physically, and so on. She was involved in Mount Everest of torture um, with her friends at clubs and so on and so forth. Just as much as she needed, just as much as, much as it allowed her to get certain roles, certain things, whatever she needed. Uh, and what's interesting, and that's a German disease, I'm going to classify this as a German disease, once the people like this would make a lot of noise, uh, it would be people from all kinds of racial backgrounds that would express, of course, interest in me. Uh, and uh, as I would not be interested in having a relationship with them next to this, all these beautiful women, wealthy and all this and that, and Really, why the fuck anybody would express any kind of interest in anybody under this kind of circumstances? I think that nobody sane should express interest in absolutely anybody if it's not exactly according to uh, his or her uh, measurements, I'm going to say. Uh, exactly according to to uh, to the image uh, that they project, wanted image they project to themselves about whom they want to be with. Under this kind of circumstances, not because MK Ultra is this is like a uber fascism. This is like a uber Nazism. There is nothing more racist. There is absolutely nothing more hateful in this world then placing somebody into submissive role of MK Ultra of what you can do basically seeing a person like let's say Obama, Barack Obama saw in me like it, it wasn't the only one, it was others the same thing seeing me dog basically like Prince Elizabeth then they, when they, they became cocky and when they no longer needed me started to compare me with the dogs, with the animals, and so on. So I think that the person that is in this kind of circumstances, you know, uh, at least this is, this is the way I felt. It was either based on my views, based on what I was searching in partner, under this kind of circumstances, would be perhaps even willing to settle for or under no fucking way. Simple as this. Uh, and once this German sickness get a hold of you, and it's people from all kinds of backgrounds that get involved in it, because this is what they advertise you, uh, and you don't want to expand your torture and to a broader circle of the people. Uh, it's this here that entitled, in this case, herself to make sale to other ethnicities, to other nationals, just like Donald Trump. They all did this kind of issue. This is basically how Americans do it. 
There's no politician in the U.S. that did not do exactly what I stated here. Germans did this stuff. Everybody did this stuff. And so what they do is they earn sympathy from others. And those that torture, and this goes into a, a pyramid. At the top of the pyramid is you're getting killed, basically, through the torture, through the amount of torture. Uh, they earn money for doing their stuff. All kinds of stuff goes on. It's all kinds of stuff. But within all that, all kinds of stuff, it's all that craziness that goes on. It's not Drew Carey, but it's uh, that other actor. I don't know which actor it is. I'm going to play with this a little bit. Um, this one here, Jim Carey, that probably gives facially like maybe like the best, maybe you know, craziness that, that, that he is maybe, you know, he was very cynical about it when it comes to my case. Uh, he, uh, he loved to uh, entertain me with humiliation, with, by humiliating me. Uh, just give like a lot of promises, like a lot of other people did fucking absolutely nothing. You, you see right there, it says, just let let go. Yeah, I thought it was a, uh, let's go, but okay, just let go. You know, the thing is that it makes no fucking difference. If you're a victim of what you see here, don't put any attention to this. This is shit, basically. Clowns, ugly clowns from Alice in Wonderland. Like you don't want to pay attention, you just want to do your stuff. And as long, along the way you do your stuff, to expose them as much as possible so that the world knows what this scam, this MK Ultra, you know, it's always said Nigerian scam, uh, Asian carp, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Fuck, it's not. It's actually German disease. It's actually something completely different uh, that is so filthy, so dirty, that has deep roots in scumbaggery, killing genocide much more than Nigerians or Asians, uh, who have, by the way, absolutely nothing to do with my case. What the fuck I got to do with uh, people from Nigeria or Africa or Asia, for that matter? I got nothing to do with them. I got mom. I got father, I got my sister, my niece, cousins, aunts, uncles and such, etc., etc. And then I have friends, and then I have those that are that I know them somewhat, acquaintances if you like. Uh, and then it's people here in Slovenia, and uh, then it's the neighboring from the neighboring countries like Italy. Austria, Hungary, etc., that's not necessary, many would classify as related to uh, something that doesn't work, but okay, this is a European continent, uh, white ethnicity maybe, uh, American citizenship, uh, maybe places me in a bracket of people in the US that I should see myself in, um, you know, but that's not the way it is. That's not the way it is. In this bracket of what I stated to you, that based on a logic, you would be affiliated to the most, uh, it's the bracket I fit in that was eager to do something else instead. A business, a sales, a trade, um, a human trade. I'm talking about. I'm talking about selling, basically torture for sale. Basically, uh, no need to throw plates against the floor uh, or glasses against the floor. You can have free torture now, and you can even make money with it. And this is a reality of today, 
even with or at the United Nations. This is extremely, extremely disappointing. Uh, at human rights courts, this kind of German disease that sells people once they get them into their into their circle, basically playing with their life. Literally, in this case, this was this was a fucking wrong with my life. This was not about. This was about any issues they voiced, like what do you think you are and what do you think you are? I don't know. Uh, I don't know that I would think about myself being, I don't know what. I never saw myself anything special. I ain't got no reason to see my in me anything special. I don't know why the British royals, why the Thailand royals and why all these Dutch royals, let's say, from Holland and Belgian royals and all these royals Norwegian King Harald I don't know I don't know anything about my being special I don't know what is special to sleep inside of the forest at age 48 all wet on the bike and go to the nearest factory where you work for five bucks an hour not even five bucks an hour uh, 12 hour shifts pulling on your hands like up to 20 tons of materials like over 30,000 pounds I don't know anything I don't know anything about do you do you do you see any connection between me and between these people you're being my being fucking rated as mentally ill in 2013 my God, that's like fucking after almost 41 years of torture, MTR to torture, being mental, labeled as mentally ill and thrown inside the psychiatric hospital to maximize the damage with the psychiatric medications, basically. Kill one, get one literally killed. I don't know, I don't know, from pain, from suffering, literally. After wasting your life as a mechanical engineering technician, which is actually as if I would have a 10 doctoral degrees, equivalent to at least 10 doctoral degrees, if you consider how I completed this school, what I have gone through to get this school completed, just considering that I managed a life through all this and time that was wasted on 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 issues that nobody is really concerning himself with in life nuisance nonsense stupid shit having destroyed absolutely everything turned life into the pipe dream so that you can see shit like this making the faces its facial features acting stupid in front of the camera, basically, projecting to the world like a logic, you know? Ha <laughs> ha, how I fuck this one, or how I fuck that one, or how naive is this person, how that one is naive, and so on. You know, why don't you do this and that, when in fact you have the whole psychiatry behind you, ready to kill you at any time? Reality has nothing to do with his facial mimics. Guff is and so on. It's, it's just one of too many. It's, I don't. I'm not. I don't want to concern myself with this. This is video is about something else. I can't see myself in these people because there's absolutely no connection between me and between them. As much as they demanded for me to see myself in them, and they demanded for me to see myself in them, for me to keep silent as much as possible, while continue abuse as much as possible. And if only they could push me into psychiatry. It's very, very disappointing. What I learned about the Western part of the world is extremely disappointing. It's better to be realistic 
than disappointed. The more you are unrealistic, and it's what MK Ultra illness is based on, by always denying yourself, the more advantage you take against you, the more you are destroyed, the more you're damaged, the more you're hurt, the more you are destroyed, the further it goes, the abuse, because there is no hurry, because abuse is the weapon, because it's their weapon of choice towards a final goal, which is the tip of a pyramid, is basically your death, if you are part of the scumbag of it. I didn't go and start this for that matter, but I'm going to use, let's say, Paris Hilton. I like that name, Paris. She was really, really sadistic about it. She's a New Yorker, like Donald Trump. And, you know, in New York, you have, I would say, almost two classes of people. You have the people like Paris Hilton, and you have people that can survive absolutely anywhere in the world. It's like Sinatra stated, you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Because, because it's the toughest place, not because you would be smart or whatever. It's for other issues. Because you are lucky if you, if you can survive in New York for generations. You have so much money, you also have a total disdain for human life. Adolf Hitler was the one who visited Big Apple. And this is exactly the bracket of the people. A brick apple bracket of the people we are talking about today. This is exactly the stuff we are talking about today. We are talking about the German disease today. This is what this video is dedicated to. Here it says London. This is what she posed me with during MK Ultra, and she wanted to sell me a torture of everything that she had done to me through, believe it or not, her cousins, literally. London, yeah, okay, her name is Paris, but that's London. She would continue to deliver me to London and advertise me London as is for me like the best place. This is like the best. When you see this London and this and that, that's when you're safe. Everything is going to be all right. The thing is, she was not the only one. They had this kind of stuff going on. Now, the thing is, just as I have written in a post, I never traveled to Britain in my lifetime. I only use the airport for a transfer on my way to the U.S. or from the U.S. to Europe. And I crossed the channel, the Atlantic Ocean, between Europe and United States of America on not more than, it's basically one, two, three, four, four occasions. That's all there was, nothing more. When I left the United States in 95, that was through the Frankfurt. That's when I returned from the United States to Europe, August of 2006. Again, through the Frankfurt, went to pick up the car from Bremerhaven and drove back to Slovenia. And then again, in 2008, when I had to run for life in March of 2008, I landed in Chicago, and it was when I used London Airport for a transfer to the U.S. As for my way back from the U.S., these are the two, there are four times in my life even that I spent 13 years in the U.S., it was only four times 
that I commuted between the United States of America and Europe. That's all there was, four times. In Canada, just as I stated, I almost got killed. I hadn't spent more than three days over there in Canada because I didn't have any chance to stay alive. A few days I stayed, I don't know, four days. Till it became clear that uh, the longer we're going to be inside of that car is homeless, the less chance we're going to have to survive. Probably, I don't know, maybe even one week. I don't know how long. A few days. It was brutal. At night, sleeping on a parking behind the driver's seat, thank God, pulled the car out and escaped with the car before it could be all too late with me when, the, when, when in a very, very bad neighborhood over there in Canada, I was approached. But this shit somehow repeated again. You know, again, it repeated in Seattle City. Strange stuff. To Britain, I never traveled in my life. But it was somebody else who was crazy about it and even insisted me that maybe in the future she would even go and move to uh, London. Well, the thing is, I don't have nothing against the London people. I don't have nothing against British, I don't have nothing against Britain, other than the crime they became involved in without ever resolving one different from enforcement of the genocide against me. I don't appreciate that. That's the stuff I do not appreciate. And I will not be quiet, because London, Britain, never got better supporter in this world than they got from me. And I did represent Britain wherever I went, to a degree that was British were envied basically for my standing up for Britain so strong. And so I deemed that people of this world have the right to know, not only have the right to know, but they have to know. They have to remember that we're different from one another. We have different, not only religions, but ethics when it comes to the human life. We don't see each other face to face for what we are. I don't think have a value when it comes to British of a war. It's cool that you like London, but it's not cool that you advertised me your news in my face, especially when I consider. This is interesting because it comes through Slovenian media. Slovenian media fucking hates Western elite. They fucking hate. This was a part of the socialist society where the socialism never really existed, but a real socialism. But uh, it was. People were brainwashed, basically, to work and equally get paid nothing, but still have what a lot of people in the West do not even dream of. The basic health care uh, homes. I don't know how much of a difference, really, between Western society and between what used to be Yugoslavia, other than in Yugoslavia, Serbia enforced genocide. Other than that, I don't know. Econ Economy-wise, I don't know how much difference was it. With the Serbs, you cannot be other than dead. That's for sure. Because this is the coexistence with them. But what's in it for you, man? You cause a lot of problems to me. You cause a lot of harm to me. And frankly, uh, I haven't done anything bad to you. For you to go and advertise 
what I just demonstrated you was this year. These uh, children were the children. Slade, literally traumatizing. Slade, no comment. Partially Slade, Merry Christmas. I don't know how to feel. Slade the house boots down Houston, I'm deceased. Yeah, this is very, very funny. It must be funny. For the crazy people that have nothing better to do than to study this, it must be funny. No, uh, I love children, uh, but... Okay. It's got nothing to do with it, really, with the children. In 2016, however, and that's what... See there's two kids? Okay, don't worry about it. I took the screenshot. It's what uh, Paris Hilton stated me. You're going to see. You're going to see exactly like this. You're going to see exactly like this, you're going to see. And it's going to be exactly like this. She had me inside of her home, and it's going to be exactly like this. It's going to be my kids. And I was like, what the fuck, eh? What? Uh, I mean, why the hell am I even here if these are going to be your kids and so on? You know? And it was a psychiatry, Slovenian police involved in it that probably even believed I'm going to say, oh, well, you know, uh, next to many other videos that American law enforcement produced, even American law enforcement, and it's not about American law enforcement, videos that date way back in time, which date our everything was removed from original video recordings, manipulated, and reintroduced at a later time. On some occasions, even the accidents uh, using the vehicles that in, with which they suffered the accidents were replaced with other vehicles and investigated by the law enforcement 10 years later to pose me with incidents, basically to portray me, to make, for me to make a claim, crazy claims, basically. Obviously, somebody wants to depict me as a paranoid schizophrenic. It wasn't only a Slovenian state. It appears that Central Intelligence Agency was so much motivated in something else, too. You see, the thing is, are we going to get to this? I was going to say, if you want to help me out. Because you do not, and I don't, because I don't see this as a help, as a form of any kind of help. Fuck you. I know that when you need to go to the doctor and get your cancer medications, it's more important than identifying this shit here that you see here. You get me? I know what the fucking priorities are. I've been through hell. And I'm not doing well health-wise at all. But I still know what the fucking priorities are. And nobody's going to teach me to see this world based on some kind of logic that fits your agenda. You're not going to enforce your logic on me, down on me. Your views, whether it's going to be my way, it's going to be highway. Fuck you. Fuck your highway. You and your highway. It was the what Paris Hilton stated me it's going to be a children from my, I think from my cousin or something like this. It was a boy and girl. Uh, so don't say that you have seen this already, that it already happened. She had me in her home with, his ch with the children, not with these children, but from the cousin, whatever. Children running back and forth. And it was also boy and girl. Uh, 
and um, she said you're gonna it's gonna be something like this and so on so just say this and this was to be used as a some kind of proof next to the many other proofs I have I'm collecting the proofs about the stuff that I see some of which I already posted the comments on the YouTube uh, that it was the psych uh, the psychiatry that they tried to uh, they tried to um, uh, for you to say you know that uh, you, that uh, this video was already recorded in 2016 and so on and so forth 2017 2000, 2000 uh, let me see that 2017 for sure. 2016 and 2017. Yeah, psychiatrist Peter Kapsel also traveled over there, etc., etc., etc. You know, um, you're not doing me any kind of fucking favor. You're trying to make yourself a favor because you failed. And you're searching for your way out. Nobody asked you about any of this. We are two different worlds. And I'm not f fooling myself about this stuff. I don't really want to be part of your world because I will never allow you also for you to be part of my world, for me to see myself in absolutely any way in you. I think, frankly, as I stated, I think that you're worthless. I don't want to say, but you already know what I mean. All of you, I think that you're really pieces of worthless Let's leave it alone. We're going to stop right there. My life was not a life of London, of Paris, of Washington, D.C., of New York. Nothing against people in, in, in this metropolitan, in this... Uh, metropolitans and capitals nothing against you but I'd be fucking damn if I'm going to be allowing you to allow lousy people like this to violate constitution your laws your own laws you have in your country international treaties such as the one that applied to resolution at the end of the World War II at the United Nations. I'm not going to be fucking allowing you for you to turn me into, into and basically, you know, depend on your mercy. You know, I, I, was, I was, the stuff that was done to me that I ended up even searching for brain, you know, searching for the brain, semi-homeless, in the streets of Poland, in some other countries, in some other locations, learning language to find my brain, basically, through the torture that I was deprived of the most sadistic torture, physical torture, fuck you. You are not going to be, you know, I tell you this, you can be from London or you can be from New York or, or, or Paris or wherever you can be, but I will not rely, I don't, I, you're not going to be, you're not going to be fucking with me like this. You're not going to be pushing my, down my throat, play with my human dignity, with my life like this. You're not going to be doing this to me. You're wrong. I'm not going to take it. She traveled the world better than first class. Really, she shouldn't, but she did. And as I told you, I slept in the forest. I slept on a bus station, train stations. And I was kicked from one continent to another continent, never mind dozen of the countries where I applied 
for political asylum to save myself from certain death, psychiatric death. With the sole goal to stay alive, to survive. So no, I am nothing special. I am nothing. I, I am nothing special. This is the answer because I was asked. So what do you think? What do you think that you are, and so on? No, that definitely I'm nothing special. It was just very, very, very wrong question to ask, Harry. William, you asked me a very, very wrong question. So what do I think I am? Very, very wrong question. Not that I would think less that I am than you are in this world. I really didn't want to have any problem. Even like this, I gave her a warning. Basically, I tried to warn her to keep her mouth shut. And she just, she just, obviously that she just can't keep her mouth shut. Obviously that she thinks got she, she is making a difference for me in some sense. But the thing is that what Americans suggested that it's going to be people that are going to, you know, don't, don't, don't do this. I don't need your, I don't need your co cooperation. I don't need your teams to stand by me. I don't need your support. I don't need your emotional support. I don't need your TV shows, you know, saying, you know, whatever. I don't fucking need you because you are no fucking use. Who the fuck needs you? The person that resolved the stuff like this will fucking need you. Ask you for what fucking rely on your what opinion or what? What do you want to tell? You want to give your? You want to tell your truth? What? What is it you want to tell? You're not. You're buying yourself out. You're buying your national disgrace. I was told by police officers inside of this kitchen. Not once, but I'm your national disgrace. I am your national disgrace. I accept that I am not disgrace, but I am your national disgrace. One of the MK Ultra participants told me that he would go to Washington, D.C., And get them all done, if you understand what I'm trying to say. During MK Ultra is where he stated to me, when I asked him, why don't you? What's stopping you from this? He said, it's not your fault, you know, and this and that. You know, he said, I'm sorry, but this is basically, this is our way of life. This is how we live and this and that. Yeah, a lot of you would do a lot of bad stuff. This is not even the stuff I was asking anybody to do. I never was asking any, any of this kind of stuff. I wasn't asking for anything other than political asylum, basically. I was asking, I, was, I asked to be left alone, basically. I had my American citizenship anyways. There was no reason to do stuff like this. There was no reason to come out and what they also suggested, they, they're gonna make the show out how it was because of the Russians, that the Russian is, uh, that it couldn't be different than this. There was no way to save me because of the Russia and so on and so forth. And this is the news. This is another news I have published here today about a new Russian drone assault in Ukraine. Yeah? It somewhat links to this news. I'm going to put this link also underneath because it links to this news here. It's the news for which I believe it was a fake Zelensky that the Russians suggested me through this fake Vladimir Zelensky. I hope it was not real, real Vladimir Zelensky, but this replica of Vladimir Zelensky insisted me that whenever I would say something that would directly concern Putin and so on, there would be exactly what you see right there the biggest Russian drone assault, assault that took place after, just after I published this news, like almost simultaneous, like three hours after it was, it was, as I stated,
this here that took place. And Russians, and I know it was Russians, I know it was not a real Zelensky, because this Zelensky insisted and insisted from one side with the Russians that they're going to send drones and that they're going to bomb Ukraine and so on, and with a fake Zelensky. It was a fake Zelensky. It couldn't be. And if it was a real Zelensky, then this man needs to be really removed, who insisted. And, when, and I will, when stuff like this happens, start to point at you with my finger. <laughs> like, you, you understand my situation? Because this is the whole thing about this, this issue here concerning this, this portion of MKUltra. And I explained how they enforce them, absolutely everything I explained. Yeah, I, I totally give you exactly even how I was brainwashing from the computers, how they were doing, how they were breaking down this issue. I'm going to put this stuff, I'm going to put these links right underneath so you can visit them, read them, and understand what I'm trying to tell you. Your stuff is not going to do anything for me. Your stuff is not doing anything for me. I don't... What you're doing with your conduct... You're actually exposing me to a threat, to a danger, even more so during the time when I no longer should have absolutely anything to do with it. And it's not because it must be done like that, but it's because of your convenience, because it's your reality, your Western reality you are trying to project through me to the people who participated in MKUltra. You are a bag of shit, a bag of lies. You are a German disease. And the thing is, you never ever were anything else. And the thing is, I'm going to push down your, down your throat whatever I stated to you right now till you're going to settle your manners the way the human beings settle manners because I'm no less than you. You're wrong about me. I'm going to sit on your throat and I'm going to lesson you every fucking day who and what you were to me for the last 52 years. I'm going to remind you time and again where your place is because I don't take your German disease anymore. This is not only how, as I earlier mentioned, how you did your matters in the United States of America against me. But it's also how you did with the countries, with the foreign countries. I know it's a German disease. I'm not making any assumptions. It's always corrupt people in every ethnicity, whether that be black or Asian, uh, actually race, and whatever ethnicity in this world, it, does, it really doesn't matter. It's always a portion of the people that are willing to open themselves up to Paris Hilton, Donald Trump, and hear basically what they have to offer in respect to something that should never really be part of their problem other than what United Nations Forget about United Nations. If, you, if it's for United States of America, the laws are clear. They clearly specify. The Constitution is very, very clear about mistreatment, about a torture, etc., etc. It goes beyond the civil rights matters. It goes into something completely different. It goes beyond Supreme Court. You cannot inflict pain through the torture, through the physical torture. It had more to do with the physical torture than anything else. More than with the psychological torture, because I was not allowed to speak. I was not allowed to give the answer. Psychological torture was bad, but it was the physical torture that took the biggest toll. 
something that spanned all the way into a cancer, spine breaking, etc., etc., problems through the poisoning, through impossible, completely inhumane circumstances, in addition to even psychiatry labeling me as mentally ill for what you have actually found excuse in Auschwitz, etc., etc., etc. That's how disgusting this is. That's how disgusting this German disease is. That's how far this thing went. It's not the entire population. It takes it only takes a certain portion within a certain population that this sickness is being carried on, inflicted on, created on somebody that had absolutely nothing to do with it. It doesn't take entire population, it just takes few corrupt people from all walks of life, all walks, all kind all backgrounds, you can imagine, to transfer, to spread this disease and to the rest of the population. And this is what the United States of America, as a matter of fact, this is what the world became through my case for the last 52 years. Never was as evil as it is now. It's exactly the same way. Exactly the same concept that's been used. A final thought I'm going to give you about the Paris Hilton, Prince Harry, Prince William, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, and the elites. All the elites in this world. The final thought I'm going to give you that I want to share with you. Paris Hilton vo voted for Donald Trump. You understand? She cheered Donald Trump. She supported Donald Trump. Look at me good now. See this, what is written here. No, it's not about what is written about this stuff here. It, it, it really doesn't matter. Her story starts that she was, a, she, was a, she was a victim of abuse. In fact, she was a victim of abuse in Utah, boarding school, where I was also brought, etc., etc. Yes? So she was a victim. Never mind that she victimized, never mind that she was directly involved in torture. How the fuck are you victim if you tortured me? How can you be victim lady if you tortured me? This is the news that she used and which she warned me, if you will ever state this and then you will never, etc., etc. You're no victim. Lady, if, you're, if you were a victim, you wouldn't have done it to me, the stuff you did to me. You would never be a victim. The victims don't act like you did, like you have. You are a predator. You're still a predator. You were a predator, and you still are a predator, a killer. When it's not convenient... Donald Trump lost the election. She comes out, she changes her mind, and she says she lied about voting for Donald Trump. You know, and since this is video about some people that entered my life and have posts next to me, I would say they used my services, but they really misled the world about themselves and about me, because posing next to me doesn't mean that that's you in absolutely any way, but that's what these people are doing. I'm going to finish this video by saying... We, we don't, we, we, we are here on the earth same place. I don't 
consider myself less than you are in this case. But we live in a two parallel worlds. Your world, you can go out there and say that you voted for Donald Trump. And if, when you say, when the time comes, and you say that you have not voted for Donald Trump, if inspectors would go and check that paper, that voting ballot, there would be a paper that would say that you truly did not vote for Donald Trump, right? It's lost elections, doesn't make sense that on your ballot would be written that you voted for Donald Trump. You know what I mean? If he won the elections, you and I have to say ever that you lied. And it really doesn't matter. The guy like myself was correct about it all for the last 52 years and everything you have done possible in this world to get me killed. Not only to mislead me on how I should view the world, see myself as, basically deprive me of myself. You know, they, they were trying to mislead me on how to see, how to view Russia and how to see Ukraine. They did everything possible in this world for me to turn against Ukraine. Not because uh, necessary, not necessary, to favor so that it would it would be Russia that would be assisted. Not necessary. Although we don't know what, what the outcome of the war will be. But really to fuck me. Because if I was not true to myself, like I was my entire life, you know, and I did right now cheered Vladimir Putin, uh do you even understand how much that would do for British royals and for Paris Hilton, or I should say Hiltons, and Trumps and all others that, not Trumps only, so many people from the US Congress and the White House, do you realize how good that, how handy that would come for the people that, you know, because they were bargaining and they were looking for any kind of excuse, for any kind of credential they could use to suggest, you see, we were on your side, we sided with you. Well, oh, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. We live in two, two different worlds. We live in this world, in one world, but we're totally different species. I mean, you got it fucking corrupt all the fucking time. You never got it right, actually. Most of your bets, you elites do, are totally fucked up. You're like really parasites, like fucking useless, completely useless people on this planet. You understand what I'm saying? You got it fucking wrong for 52 fucking years. You destroyed my life and you destroyed, destroyed lives of numerous people, burned countries to the innocent people. And we're hiding yourself, your evil face, your German disease behind me, pushing me ahead of you, demonstrating me to the world for whatever issue was convenient for you, whichever way. And the thing is that it, it, in your case, it doesn't matter how wrong, it doesn't matter how mentally retarded, ill, mentally ill and evil, it doesn't matter. If I had right for 52 years, that really doesn't matter. As for the people like Donald Trump, for the people in the United States of America that are crooks looking forward to expand their business as soon as the conflict, as they see this, in Eastern Europe ends, it doesn't really fucking matter how many Americans die on the front line if they are volunteers over there in Ukraine, how much American taxpayers are paying, helping out 
this national economy from all walks of from all walks of background with with whatever helping the world basically to survive saving ukraine from literally eastern europe entire eastern europe literally from disaster it doesn't matter how many Americans even, you have, you have Paris or British, Paris, and you, you love London, Paris, Hilton, London, Washington DC, uh, New York, all this beautiful big city, all this, it does fucking matter because your eyes are set on something else already. And that's why you're always right. You're already getting yourself ready for what's going to be after the conflict in Eastern Europe, where you're going to be first again, throwing the dice, basically, at expense of American taxpayers, at expense of the British taxpayers, at expense of German taxpayers, at expense of French taxpayers, at expense of Italian taxpayers, people, those average people, average Joe people that help Ukraine, European security to survive, basically in a struggle against evil. That fucking doesn't matter. Because you're going to be the first one in Russia buying cheap oil, cheap gas, cheap minerals, cheap whatever you can get to be always right. Just like on those fucking ballots where you go to vote. If somebody would go and investigate, you always get a right. It doesn't matter how wrong. So that's the difference between you and me me not even existing having always exactly the right but not even existing on the landscape anywhere in the world on the net not even this even the views you fucking delete not only revenue to block from the revenue but to discredit to kill person as much as possible we are from two different worlds you understand now why you and i we cannot be and see each other in absolutely any way eye to eye so you're a fucking fish. Bubbles. Medusa. Jellyfish. Motherfuckers. Lizards. For real. You change your shape. Shape. What is it? Shape. Well, I had this friend, this girl. She says, shape shifters. Shape shifters. You are fucking shape shifters. We are from two different worlds that have nothing to do with one another. You're fucking unreal. You're just as much as real as you post and you advertise. Bullshit. Illusion. The reality is over there. The reality is here. This is what's happening. This is what the reality is. Just as my case, I cannot go and judge good and bad if bad survived because of the so-called good you understand sober fucking up wherever you are thanks for watching this video till next time